Hey everyone, welcome to this full beginner's guide for installing mods on Assetto Corsa. We're going to cover the main prerequisites to get started. These are Content Manager, Custom Shaders Patch, and Soul Weather. And then we'll dive into installing the fun mods like Cars and Tracks, using the Shitoko Revival Project mod as an example. So I'm starting here with a fresh Windows install and a fresh unmodified Steam install of Assetto Corsa, just to make sure we're all starting from the beginning and on the same page. The first thing we're going to do is install a program called Content Manager. This is an alternative game launcher for Assetto that allows you complete control over hundreds of game settings, mod management, replays and screenshots, just playing the game, and much, much more. It might feel a bit overwhelming at first, but I'll guide you through the basics and over time, you can start to tweak every little setting to your heart's content. Go ahead and download the app from their website. There is a paid version that I strongly recommend getting at least eventually, but for this tutorial we'll use the free version, again just to make sure we're all on the same page. Save the file and then open it and drag the content manager executable to your desktop or wherever you want to launch the program from. When you open content manager for the first time, it'll ask you to verify Assetto Courses install directory. This will be in a different location for everyone, but usually Content Manager can find it on its own and you won't need to change this. You can also select a name to use here and install plugins. You don't necessarily need any of these, but I would recommend getting the 7-zip plugin here. So, once this is done, hit OK and you'll be in Content Manager, probably the best upgrade you can make to your Assetto Corsa experience. This screen here is where you can launch a race. Select your car and track in the top left, Adjust the time of day, weather, etc. You can also access the career from the tab in the top left. Once you've got your race settings where you want, you can hit go in the bottom right corner to start a race. It's generally worth your time here to get comfortable with the general user interface of Content Manager here because it is how you'll be playing and managing the game from here on out. Once you're ready for the next step, hit settings on the top right and then custom shaders patch on the top left. You'll be greeted with this screen and a green install button and it's just about that easy. Custom Shaders Patch is now installed, and you have a wealth of new performance and graphics options to explore on the left side of the screen there. But we're not quite done yet. You'll notice on the right here that we have a lot of different available versions to select from. By default, it will always install the newest recommended version. However, many mods require you to be using newer versions of the patch. For example, Soul, which we're installing next, needs to make sure you're on at least 0.1.69. If you're running into strange graphical issues, chances are you need to update your CSP. Today, we're going to be running 0.1.74. Keep in mind that you can also donate to the creator's Patreon and get access to new cool features that aren't public yet, like Dynamic Rain. Now let's move on to our next step, installing Soul. This mod can be found on the Race Department website, which by the way, is an amazing resource for finding all sorts of good track and car mods for Assetto Corsa. You might notice here that you don't have a download button available to you. That's because you need to make an account with the Race Department website. Make an account, log in, and then the download button will show up. Go ahead and click the link to save that file, and then open it up, and you'll see what we have here. Click on the Mods folder, and you'll see that there is a detailed install guide here if you need it. Then click on the Soul 2.1.2 folder, and you'll see we have four folders and two files here. What we're going to do is copy these four folders into your Assetto Corsa root install directory. Now, most of you will probably know where you've installed Assetto Corsa to, but if you don't and you installed the game through Steam, here's a pretty foolproof way to get to it. Go ahead and right-click the game in your Steam library, then scroll down to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Alright, so we've got the Assetto Corsa root folder on the left, and the mod folder on the right. What we're going to do is just take these four folders that you'll notice line up with four of the folders in the install directory, and copy them right over. Once that's done, Soul is installed. We can verify that by going to the weather effects in custom shaders patch settings of Content Manager. And we'll see here that the controller and weather script shows Soul. Now we're actually going to want to change that controller script to Soul 2.1. Once that's done, head over to the Assetto Corsa video settings and make sure that your rendering frequency for reflections is no higher than two faces per frame. It can be static, or one, or two, just no higher. This is a limit set by Soul. While we're here, we can also take a look at the post-processing filter, usually shortened online to be called the PP filter. Don't be nasty. 
The Soul mod should already give you a few to pick from, but you can find more filters online. The final thing we're going to do here is go over to the Assetto Corsa Apps Settings and enable all of the Soul apps. This is going to let you mess with weather settings while you're in game. Now we have Content Manager, Custom Shaders Patch, and Soul all installed, and you're just about ready to start installing the fun mods. Now would be a great time though to boot up a race and make sure everything is running and looking as good as it should. You can see here we're doing a race at night which actually wasn't even possible in the vanilla game and on the right side of the screen where you access your apps here's where we can mess with soul settings if you have some performance issues you can switch to the low preset or if you want to bump up the graphics a bit more you can obviously switch to a high preset and then here is where you can make certain weather adjustments throughout the course of your race keep in mind here that soul weather doesn't actually add rain itself but that is coming in custom shaders patch soon and by the time you're watching this, it's probably already there. Alright, so hopefully you haven't had any issues up to this point, and you now have a much better running and better looking version of Vanilla Assetto Corsa. Now it's time to start adding the fun mods. We're going to be using the Shotoko Revival Project's Discord to get our track map, as well as a big pack of modded cars that they actually require for use in their official servers. If you're going to be installing this mod specifically, keep an eye out for the channels with hearts around them, specifically track downloads and car downloads. Then just use any of the links that they have provided and download the zip file for the track and for the pack of cars. Alright, so we've got both of those files downloaded and Content Manager open in the background. There are currently two main methods of installing mods in Assetto Corsa. I'm going to show you first the manual method. And let's start with the car pack. With our Assetto Corsa root directory open again, you can see that both the mod folder and the Assetto Corsa root directory have a content folder. Now if you navigate into each of those content folders, you have matching folders within those as well. Cars, drivers, and fonts. The actual car mods themselves will be of course stored in the cars folder, however these cars also come with modified driver models as well, and I guess the S2000 needs a custom font here too. All we have to do here to install this full mod with the cars and drivers and that font is to match up the folder structure. So we're going to take that content folder from the mod and place it in the same location as the content folder in our root directory. Make sure you're not placing the content folder inside the other content folder. You want them both in the same place so they overlap, and that's the Assetto Corsa root directory. Now, I might be making that sound a bit more complicated than it really is, but there's a good reason for it, and it's because different mod creators will give you different amounts of folders. You always just want to match up the folder structure. Let's say, for example, you get a car mod where the title of the folder is just the car itself. For this, you'd want to navigate to Assetto Corsa's content, then cars folder, and put the folder for the car itself in the cars folder with the other cars. You can see me doing this on screen just as an example. I've navigated through the root directory to show just all of the car folders. I just take the modded car folder and put it in with all the others. Now our process for installing the track mod is about the same, and you can see with this mod that we actually just have the track mod folder. There's no extra folder structure here. So we're going to navigate to our root folder, then content, then tracks. You can see all the other tracks here, and you just drag the modded track in with all the others. Simple as that. And that's all there is to it. We can take a look at Content Manager here and see that not only do we have the Shotoko Revival Project map, we also have a bunch of fun new cars to use on that map. Now, before you go installing all these mods manually, I'm going to show you an even easier method, which we could have used to install the Shotoko Revival Project cars and track. And if you do want to install that mod, use this method I'm about to show you. But for the sake of more examples, let's pick something else to show this method here one of the 90s Golden Drift Spot Project mods. This series of mods, by the way, is incredible if you're into old school Japanese drifting stuff. Once it's downloaded, we're just going to take the zip file and drag it on a content manager. The first time you do this, it'll show a pop-up like you saw in the top right there. You just open that little three green bars at the top right, hit install, and you're good to go. And here you can see, just seconds later, our new mod is fully ready to play. Now you might be wondering why I even showed you the manual method in the first place, and that's because some mods don't seem to like Content Manager, so it might not install correctly. It's good to know both methods so that if Content Manager isn't installing your mod correctly, you can use the manual method as a backup. 
Well guys, that is just about all there is to it. Hopefully in no time you'll be slaying the toge in a Sylvia or hitting the LA Canyons in an F1 car if you really want, because you will have so many amazing mods available to you. So thank you all for watching, I really hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next video.